That's so loud. Wait, why is that? Oh. <laughs> I know exactly why that's so loud. Because the thing is so loud. Okay, we're fine now. We're good. Look, why am I hearing this a lot more than I should have? Because the volume was up so loud last time that I played this music. Okay. Um... Oh! Close. Okay, I want to keep that open too. Gotta keep my list. Gotta keep my list open for sure. <clears throat> um, honey, welcome in. And Natalie, welcome in. How are you both doing today? Happy Tuesday. I am back. I am back after being gone for a whole weekend. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome in. I'm happy to be live today because I will tell you I've been working behind the scenes on some stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while, but now it's finally happening. But welcome in. I do feel good today. I do have a, a little bit of a headache. I think it's just because um, I've been sitting at my computer screen for a little bit too long, but also too... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The, he the headaches come and go, I will say. But overall, good. It was a nice day to actually take a walk. So took a nice little walk earlier. Um, took my dog to day camp. So he's been content this entire time until now. But pretty good. And that's totally okay. You know, hey, I'm glad that you're able to join whenever you can, though, Natalie. I know school just started for um for you and some other people as well. At least in my area, they don't go back to school until tomorrow. So it's going to be a little bit busy <laughs> uh, for most people when it comes to like, school and studying and classes. Um, but I'm glad your day's been good overall. Um, my day's been good. I was working on my Notion calendar. And like my notion like board as well to organize a few things because i realized i had some stuff on here that was a little bit outdated that i needed to update mostly for like my watch list and my reading list because i've been wanting to make my own notion like board board from scratch and it's been taking some time to like get it all prepared and looking nice but for the most part it's not that bad I just have to organize all of my video game catalogs because <laughs> I only have 51 out of 300 and something video games I have to add on here. But not too bad. Final hour of work. We'll be lurking all good, all good. Today we're just going to be working on finishing a build actually that we started on I think last week or two weeks ago I'm pretty sure for the career legacy. Um, Gen 20 is going to be a lawyer and have three kids. And I've never really played with the lawyer career all the way through just because I just haven't really dived deep into all the careers just yet. So playing through this challenge has allowed me to like play through them all finally. <laughs> finally. Um, but fan fan and also Zilla Norway, welcome in, welcome in. What am I gonna do? Hold if I can actually read. Oh my gosh. Um, what am I doing for co-working tomorrow? Honestly, I think I want to start working on some videos that I've been trying to edit for ten thousand years. Um, I need to work on organizing all of my commands because we have so many commands and they're all in different places, and I've been meaning to put them in one singular one singular location so that way it's easier to find for me and my mods and other things like that so mostly just probably editing and um fixing some old stuff updating some graphics that i need to get updated but it's kind of like winging it to be honest because i haven't done a co-working stream in forever but something not too overwhelming you know yeah i haven't really done a co-working stream since I'm gonna say two years ago, I will say. Um, but Cassandra, welcome in. It's good seeing you. Yeah, it's like similar to like Zephyrin's. However, for me, 
with our co-working streams, the way I usually will do them is that we'll like work for 30 minutes and then we'll like take a break for 15 to kind of chat and, you know, just kind of talk to each other. Um, and then kind of get back right into the, the working part after the 15. So it's 30, 15, 30, 15 until like it kind of just keeps going. If that makes sense. I think it's kind of like a good um, break between because like 30 minutes of working is like good and you want to like relax your brain to get up, stretch, drink water, um, simple things like that. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy, nothing too chaotic. We'll have some nice little, some good music playing and we'll just kind of vibe, you know? I also can't remember what, what I need to get. Oh no, I needed to work on the outside for this. That's what it was. That's what it was. Um, but yeah, that'll be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central of what we'll be working on. Well, at least what I'll be working on per se. Um, these co-working streams are meant to like allow us to vibe and relax and work on things that we've been kind of avoiding for a very long time or procrastinating for several, several weeks. I realized that tomorrow is Wednesday and I have a meeting tomorrow on Thursday. No. Yeah, no. I have a meeting on Friday. That's what it is. Also, why is this so uneven? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I don't. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was like, I don't like how this is very uneven. I have to fix it. But yeah, nothing like too crazy for tomorrow. I actually do plan of um, fixing my... I don't know. I just have so many things. That's the problem. I have so many things on my to-do list that I've been avoiding. I'm a bit of a procrastinator, I will say. I'll I'll start something and then I'll forget to like finish it. Like half of these builds that I've done in The Sims, I'll forget to finish. And I'm like, I should probably finish that at some point. And then I eventually end up doing it months later. Because when I tell you I have so, so many builds in my catalog, <laughs> like my video folder is like just jam packed with old builds that I, I've finished, but I just haven't edited them due to like procrastination and general exhaustion, you know? So I think that is something I will definitely do. And I tend to edit pretty fast. I had cut out a bunch of things in my videos, but I'm going to do like real time tours. Also, uh, Sy uh, Saibo Relic, welcome in. How are you doing today? We're working on finishing our apartment build that we started doing like two weeks ago for Career Legacy. Uh, Gen 20 is going to be a lawyer. I've never played through the lawyer career before, personally, and I am very excited to kind of dive deep into it. But the way we're going to do it is that we're going to go through university so that way when we go through it we can break up relationships more while we're in uni and then graduate later we'll do like four classes per semester so it's easier said than done but yeah we're welcome in though no those curtains are actually from dine out which is wild it's like it's one of the curtains that I like the most because they're like nice and huge. They're not too crazy. They're just simple, plain white curtains. The best curtains in the game and they're from Dine Out. Like they're just the best ones. I don't know why we don't have this type of curtain in base game. <laughs> Cause it's so good and so simple. I remember when um, James Turner used to do, um, well he still does. But like, I remember in a lot of his builds, he would use that curtain a lot in a, mostly in his modern builds. And I was like, that curtain actually looks really nice. So I've been gravitating towards it a lot. If I do have a bedroom with large windows. Um, oh, you felt like some machinimas that are needing your attention. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's definitely me. I have a lot of machinimas I have to edit through. Um, but it's like, that'll be for another day, for another time, for another problem. I'm in the, I'm focused on the now, not the past. 
<laughs> that's where I'm standing. Um, and Sarah, welcome in and Renko, welcome in. You need some writing. You need to write more, to be honest. I've been putting it off. Same. I've been writing the short film script for several months now. I have like two pages, but I need to finish it <laughs> so, I, so I can get it done. Um, and then eventually utilize it for something. But I, I, I do, I have a lot of writing to do. Why, why do, why do we procrastinate? That's the ultimate question for me. Why do we as humans procrastinate a lot? That's something I never really knew. I ask that question to myself every day. I'm like, hmm, this is weird. Why do I do this? Why do I not just do it and then be done? Weird. Oh, oh, you meant you said, oh, you said the desert, the desert Lux ones. Ah, okay. That's another good curtain. I agree. I do like the desert Lux curtains. Personally, I feel like we need, I don't know if you agree with this fan fan or anyone, but I feel like I just want simple, plain old curtains. I don't want nothing too fancy. I don't want anything too crazy. I just want plain Jane curtains. That's it. Nothing else. Just something plain. <laughs> Give me the basic kit of 2024. Oh, fan fiction. So I also like mirror machinimas to reflect your stories or help uh, me idea. You know, honestly, same. I remember back in the day when I used to read a lot of fanfics on, um, what was that WhatsApp? <laughs> on Wattpad back in the day in like middle school, junior high. I always found them very fascinating. And I remember people used to write a lot of stories based around, um, oh, that is bright, uh, around like Twilight. <laughs> and I was like, that's not bad. I actually would have liked that. I don't know, fanfics were just cool back then. And they, I guess they still are, depending on like what franchise you're trying to create, you know? The ones from Eco and Seasons are good too. Oh yes. I like the ones from Eco and Seasons. I feel like Seasons needs some seasoning. <laughs> it needs a little some something, but I don't know what it needs. All I know it needs something. I don't know what rug I want to use. See, having a city penthouse apartment with all this space is like, well, here we are. <laughs> I feel like I should put like some type of pool or something back here because I can't I think I can add a pool I'm pretty sure oh, the cur a curtain kit would be a elite oh yeah it's a must buy like I think personally what we as simmers need personally are like more curtains that fit the windows more lands more landscaping um yeah, I just think more landscaping, better curtains that fit the windows, w windows in general. Um, I don't know. What would you, what, like, what would you want? Because there's so many things I want, but it's like, ooh, I don't know. I just kind of like it like this and they can put the real stuff on this side. Yeah. Is the half wall outside the greenhouse supposed to be not have an opening yeah it's not supposed to have an opening it's kind of like a small balcony where your sims can just come out and sit i didn't feel like it needed an opening because we already had like an opening over here there's more of like a, just a sit and lounge area i might eventually change it but that's what i kind of had in mind for now but then my ideas do change eventually just on this side Mm. Well, I don't know about fewer loading screens. I would love fewer loading screens much as the next person. I agree. Is that a kid's bike? Yeah, it's a kid's bike. Let's get this bike. Okay. I think I would love to see more stuff for infants and also elders. Those are like my two major things I would like to see more of. Because we're coming up on 10 years of The Sims 4 in September, which is literally next month. But I wouldn't know what I would personally want other than like more things for infants since they're brand spanking new and there isn't much for them. I would like to see what they would add to the game. 
to give him more pizzazz. Oh, a multi-purpose slot, like, um, like an apartment over a bodega, uh, bodega owned, um, by a little old lady down the hall, you know? Yeah, I've always dreamt of that. Like multiple, multifunctional, multi-purpose slots will be super beneficial for a lot of Sims who either like own a restaurant or own like a little bakery or whatever it might be. I find that super beneficial, especially for me. All of my Sims are self-employed in a sense and they all have their own little business. Cause I always wanted to recreate Bob's Burgers, but in the Sims 4 in some way because they live on top but they have their restaurant at the bottom and it just seemed like a perfect idea because and then plus you wouldn't have to like leave your lot as much to um like go to your restaurant or go to your job or whatever you can just work from home and you have your business underneath it's like easy access which is what we all desperately need um but it would be very cool to have multi-purpose lots especially like if you have like a gym underneath that you ran oh the the ideas the dream <laughs> more elder love please and becca welcome in so this we live in where i can't we are building in the brand new world in um Ciudad emirata it's the penthouse lot it's on a 20 by 20 lot so originally there was a penthouse here i just bulldozed it and built my own but that's where we're currently at in the new world. We're building for generation 20. What am I looking for? Oh, I am looking for a... No, I already have all the stuff. I think I'm good. But yeah, more infant hairs, clothing, just more infant anything <laughs> would be, um, <clears throat> would actually be very, very good. Just infant anything. Like we can get a Domino's or a Spades for the old folks. Yeah! because uh, we have rocking chairs with nifty knitting and i think i would love to see more rocking chairs like different styles of rocking chairs because we have we have in a way it's kind of like dominoes but it's not dominoes we did get a lot of like elder type things when we got growing together and so i thought that was really nice but i want more just straight up just elders only elders nothing else Snoopy, welcome in. How are you doing? And yeah, no problem, Becca. Let's do... So this is covered. I think we'll do this right here. Yeah. And then I'll get one of those little picnic tables. Oh, you didn't get that one? Yeah. Growing together, hands down, the best. Knit knitting, the best. Because the kids can also knit, which I think is really cute. It's like a little family activity. <clears throat> Oh, you tried to add a pool and it went into the floor. Oh, that's not good. Also, Coupon, welcome in. I've been playing with the same family since 2017. I started with the Not So Berry Challenge and I've been playing ever since and I moved on to Career Legacy. Um, but welcome in, Coupon and Daphne and friends. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, Rebellica, Warlord, Daphne, Bex, Arcade, Woops. Hello, hello. We're just playing The Sims 4. We're doing some building today. Um, we're working on Generation 20 of our career legacy. And it's a family that I've been playing since 2017 during my not so berry days. And I've been playing ever since. I took a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks are definitely needed when you're playing a family for this long across two different save files. Um, but they're super, super fun. Oh, that's new. That's spooky of what I just saw. Um, but Daphne, how was your stream? What did you all get up to today? Would love to know all about it. Um, but welcome in Warlord and friends. Oh, we haven't got love struck yet. Uh, as I've heard, there's still a lot of problems with it. There's a few problems here and there. I know they're fixing some of it um, slowly but surely, but they're going very quick with them. Um, but I would definitely say, keep your eye out for it when there's like a sale or anything, but it's a nice pack. I do really like uh, Love Struck so far. It's been really nice to dive into dating differently. Um, but I'm doing good though overall, friends. I have a little bit of a headache, um, but other than that, not too shabby, but mostly just relaxing all day. I didn't stream yesterday, mostly because I was getting my permanent crown on my tooth. 
and also just hanging out with my dog. Uh, but welcome in, Luke. It's good seeing you today. I hope all is well and swell. You have to come to the building. Yeah, we haven't done much, Daphne. We mostly just added in, like, what is it called? This dumpster and the bikes and then this. I've been kind of fiddling around with what I want to do with this large area because we're going to be in university is the thing for gen 20 and i thought the best way i know how to get further in our career levels is by going to uni or having that connections trait that you get from the reward store but our sim currently right now is a straight up toddler so we don't got much experience to go off of yeah, I've been really loving the Love Struck pack too. It's been super fun because normally what will happen for me in a lot of sim gameplay is I like to break up marriages a lot and destroy lives. So I always try to find the happy medium of like, how can I help this relationship? But also how can I hurt it without going too crazy with it, you know? So Love Struck allows me to explore dating differently, especially... Um, changing the venue midway through the date if I wanted to, which usually normally I do most of the time. Um, wait a minute. Also, T, welcome in. How are ya? Oh, wait, that's right, a hot tub. That's a good idea. I like the hot tub idea. Could probably put the hot tub somewhere in the other area. Oh, stream was good. He played more of your love trope legacy, Gen 2. So in a second semester of school. I almost said, I almost read that as second trimester. I'm like, huh? Um, of school and started making friends and romancing um, her ex-enemy, Dylan. Ooh. Well, Gen 2 sounds kind of spicy. I'm looking forward to watching the VOD back. Was this like the first episode or was it like, how many parts have you done of Gen 2? So that way I can kind of catch up while I'm ahead, you know? <laughs> Let me change all these uh, chairs. I want the other ones in the pack. Mmm, I like pasta. Pasta sounds good, honestly, not gonna lie. I kind of want to make spaghetti. But at the same time, I kind of don't, you know? Mmm. Oh, it's the second episode? Okay, good. So I haven't missed too, too much. <laughs> he just says it so casually. You know? Yeah, I'm like, it's natural. Breaking up marriages in The Sims seems kind of fun. It spices up your Sims life a little bit more. You get to see new people. Um, you get to just see new things that you haven't seen before. Sims fighting. Normal. <laughs> um, oh, and then you had a frozen crunch bar. Ooh, that also sounds really good. I haven't really had a lot of dessert dessert in a very long time. I really don't eat a lot of sweets since I have braces and everything. I'm very cautious and I'm like always scared. I'm like, ooh, if I eat this, I'll have to like, you know, I don't know. I'm, my brain is like broken. Yeah, pack only, sadly. I wish it was like with the other packs or with the base game or something like that. That would be really fun. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I would like to see for them to update more of the, um... Oh, good. Wait, hold on. Anyway, but yeah, I feel like, um, I don't know what I, was, what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, what am I saying? No. Okay. Now I remember. I was thinking like, I think it would be a good idea for them to update the dating system overall as a whole in the Sims, like base game, but I don't know. <laughs> um 
oh, a Ninja Creamy, and they make a bunch of ice cream and sorbets. I've heard of those things before, and I've never really thought about them until I started watching videos from like other YouTubers who have them. The way I just normally was talking about breaking up people's marriages with two was wild. Yeah. If you're new to the stream, this is a natural thing that we talk about a lot. Breaking up marriages in The Sims. I'm what you call a nervous wreck. I don't like going outside or meeting other people. So I'm just like, I'll just live vicariously through my Sims and break up <laughs> their love life. It's easier. Um, but yeah, um, Randy Joe's been, he's just been out and about doing his thing. He, we took him to day camp today. Um... And he's, he's doing okay. He's eating food now. Apparently, he didn't eat any of his food while he was there um, at day camp. So he's kind of... He's tired. <laughs> ice cream is okay with braces. The thing is, though, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have any of ice cream. I can't have ice cream at all, sadly. Being lactose intolerant limits you. Why did EA choose uni and not uh, college? Because college is like not a, I feel like a universal term. At least in, in my eyes, I don't think it really is. And so university is like a term that people use all around the world rather than like college. And college looks different for everyone. Some people in the UK go to college at like 16 or, um, and then go to uni or something like that afterwards. So the terminology is like very different across the board. So maybe they thought uni was a much better term to use it that way. I don't know. <laughs> we sit only in the sense I'm dead. Um, you enjoy frozen banana slices covered in chocolate. Oh, what do I want to do with this? I like this area. This is tough. You have all this space. You're like, what do I do with it? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Oh, sugar-free ice cream. Ooh. What kind of recipes have you tried so far, Rebelica, with your Ninja Creamy? Because I know there's so many out there, but it's like, what kind? Oh, I know what I want. Telescope. Mm, I do like bananas. Bananas are very, very good. I made banana bread the other day and it turned out very well. If I do say so myself. I'm what you call a bit of a baker. Baking is my passion. The more I bake, the more strong and confident I feel in my baking endeavors. <laughs> you know, I know you're joking, but I actually would love to see that too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually would love to see some elementary school years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or just like more schooling in general where we could have homeschooling or boarding school or private school. One of the three. I would prefer more private school and boarding school than homeschooling because sometimes I just don't want to have my kids in my house at all. <laughs> um. Yeah. And fin uh, finishing school, it's, it really depends. Yeah. Um, okay, that's the bar. I have that over here. Hmm. Where art thou can I put this? I'm just gonna delete this one. I don't need that. This here, and then get a tr mini trash can. Um, and also thank you all for the hydrate and the daily look for Palestine, by the way, friend. I appreciate that. Also, Luke. I saw that you got your tickets for Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I saw on Twitter, like, not too long ago. Um, even though you're breaking up marriages, this is a cute, wholesome stream. Oh, thank you. I'm a very, like, I'm a very kind individual. I would think I am. People say I am, and I, I just treat people the way I want to be treated kindness and positivity so I feel like I'm a very kind person I'm wholesome I'm chill but then when it comes to the sims they're just messy like they don't do right so I have to correct the errors of their ways it's like if you don't sit down we're gonna have problems so sit down or else it's the only way you burn the house down one more time, you're not going to get anything else. 
Nearly. <laughs> yeah, Sabrina Carpenter. I have never met Sabrina Carpenter ever, but I always wanted to go to one of her concerts because I hear good things about it. Um, freeloader trait. Oh, we could have a free call freeloader for teens or like a court for teens. Oh, that would be really cool. Can I get this wallpaper? Thank you. <laughs> You were thinking today with stuff for teens, elders, and little kids, there doesn't seem much for strictly for kids. There really isn't. I would say like the only pack that I could think of that's strictly for kids, it's kids room stuff. But I would love to see a little bit more stuff for them, especially like toddlers. Even though toddlers and kids have their own pack, I'm like, that was a long time ago. Let's add a little extra, you know? But it would be really interesting to see a pack expanding on the kids' activities, I agree. Um, day carriers, middle school years. I would love to see daycare, personally. Okay, I think I might literally leave this empty because I cannot think of anything else to add to this little area. Because I have the garden over here. I have the pool area, hot tub, this area over here. I could get a horse, but I'm like, mm, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, this is in the new world. It's on the 20 by 20 lot in Suda Emirata. So if you don't have Love Struck, you wouldn't see this law at all. But it came with the new EP. It's over here. There we go. I bet the weddings are a treat to watch. They kind of are, but the thing is though, honey, I don't even get to that point. <laughs> I don't even get to the wedding at all. Cause I'm like, ooh, you're engaged or like they're dating, but the marriage part doesn't last that long. So henceforth, the wedding never really happens that much. <laughs> it's very rare you'll see my Sims getting married um, because I have a problem with commitment issues in the Sims. So they don't last that long. <laughs> oh, wait, that's right. A little party area bonfire. Okay. Because they are going to be in college, so that's like a good idea. The Sims is a great platform for uh, to safely play out your own darker side. Yep. Without anyone getting hurt, you are correct. You are correct. That is huge. Um, Just like when you are playing I have a smaller one. That's too big. Um, what, what was the challenge? The Black Widow challenge? That's a very demonic challenge. Every time I played it, the more cr I got crazier and crazier every time I played. Like, why? You need a graveyard, you have a problem? I don't know that's a problem. It's more of a lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, an active daycare career would be really fun. Where was that one bonfire? I think it was some outdoor retreat. Because I didn't want nothing too big. Oh, you know what? I just realized I can add stuff from Discover University. That's what I can also add to fill in that little space. No, that's CC. I'll get this thing right here. Yeah. This over here. Right there. But yeah, an active babysitting career will be nice. We do have like a one that's a rabbit hole, but give me that active one and then like, ooh, yes. I should probably replay the daycare career profession from The Sims 3 because I, I only played it up until I think level 2 and then after that I was like, I'm done. That's too many kids. I gotta go. <laughs> it gave me too much of the 100 baby and these kids weren't even my kids. It was just unforgetful parents who just left their kid at my house for several hours. Why? How do you free rotate like I did? Oh, I use the Sims 3 camera and then I just press the alt button on my keyboard to freely rotate objects. Okay. It doesn't work for the Sims 4 camera, which I know most people definitely use that one, but it only works on the Sims 3 camera. So you would have to switch it by going up to here and then clicking um, this button that says Sims 3 camera instead of Sims 4, because Sims 4, you can't rotate objects freely. I'm holding down my alt button, but nothing's happening. <laughs> it's, it's very annoying. Um, So I prefer using Sims 3 because I'm able to like freely rotate and like rotate my camera a little bit better. 
Um, let's see. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Do this way. There we go. We well, might eventually change this at some point, but for now, we've got an idea. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need that. <laughs> In which we have funerals and mausoleums of the Grim Reaper taking the Sims. I would like to see an actual proper like pack that's based around sounds morbid, but death. <laughs> I I would love to have more ways. I'm a family game player, so I really dive deep into a lot of storytelling. And so I do a lot of pretending of like, oh my sim like wrote a will, or my sim, you know, my sim family was fighting against who gets what or who lives where and, and such like that. So if we like got a death pack, that would be really fun. I know there's been like rumors and things like that, and I don't believe anything until I see it from EA themselves. But if it's real, I hope it's like happening. Yeah, no problem, Alicia. Anytime. But yeah, I feel like there's so many cool things that we could definitely get uh, for the future of The Sims, especially knowing like we only have a couple of more months left of this year before the end of 2024. That. What do you possibly think we can even get? Because I really personally don't know. Maybe I'll do all eight. We have siblings. It does fill in that space a bit more. There we go. Because like 10 years of The Sims 4, what could we even get? Would I rather dive into the ocean wearing all my clothes or delete all of my CC? Um, I'd rather just go and dive deep into the ocean. <laughs> I'd rather just dive deep in the ocean, personally. Because deleting my CC, that's crazy. Oh, also let me save my game. Um, but yeah, to note, the death pack is not confirmed at all. And only speculation. You are correct, Daphne. Only speculation. Nothing's really confirmed or real. Until EA says it themselves. Am I recording this? I am good. Oh, also Dabney. Oh, I can. Can I change? Can I change my scene collection? Is it a possibility? Eh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna show it. Oh, until tomorrow. Either way. So I will say, I'm very excited for tomorrow because we're doing a co-working stream, and I simply have changed a lot of stuff on my scene collection for all of it, and I'm very excited very very much excited for tomorrow i've changed my overlays i'm gonna put in the in the chat in the mod chat of the commands if i could find it because i did not want to code that is definitely not it oh no it's right here <laughs> garrett welcome in how are you doing to today i hope all is well how was your stream what did you all get up to I would love to know all about it. Ah, here it is. Um, sure. Let's use that. Why is that so... That is definitely not it. What? That's so weird. No. That's not the right one either, is it? Oh. 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 If I scrolled down, I would have seen everything. I'm just going to put this PDF in the chat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to find this link. Here you go. I'll just post it in there. Uh, but welcome in, Garrett. And I'm glad you like the way I clutter my houses. I'm really happy on how I clutter them. I think personally for me, um, cluttering is like my specialty. And so whenever I get the chance to um, just like dive deep into a singular room, this will be... It's like my favorite time. You need a productive tomorrow. Yes. And that will be the time to do it. Being productive tomorrow is key. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we'll be doing trucking this month unless something else happens. Um, mo trucking is TBD. Uh, for now. We're going to figure out everyone's schedules for this month. Um, however, what is confirmed to be happening this month is Among Us. Among Us is confirmed for this month. Um, but, uh, American Truck, not so much just yet. 
but we'll probably plan that out soon. We'll just have to like coordinate the dates of when everyone's available uh, the most. Hmm. Why do I think we got so much stuff from Discovery University? I don't know why. Oh, you're doing well. You were super simming. Very good. You got your family aged up and finish another aspiration. Oh, nice. Which aspiration was it? Where in the actual turn? You know what? You really don't got anything. Oh my gosh. Wow. High school years? You need that one. Kids activity pack with lemonade sand. Oh my gosh. Yes. Give me the lemonade sand ASAP. The way I would literally rob these Sims of their money. I would charge these Sims an arm and a leg. Figuratively, of course. But like, charge them out the wazoo with the money in the Sims too. Give me it back so my Sim kids can earn money. <laughs> I swear I had the most fun I think because I played a lot of Lemonade Tycoon as a kid that I would always just have the most fun just causing chaos selling lemonade <laughs> um, but I'm excited for Among Us though Among Us this this uh this time is gonna be fun because they just added in I think new cosmetics or new roles recently um because they collaborated with Critical, critical Role so you know Shell is very excited about it <laughs> And we'll never stop talking about it because Shella loves Critical Role um, much as the next person, like a diehard uh, critter. So that is when going to be happening very soon. I think I literally just might make leave this empty. I might leave this empty. I don't have to clutter everything up. I don't have to, but I want to. It's so hard. Uh, any tips on cluttering? I would say, like, for me, I'm not the best at cluttering outside because I get very stumped on what to do a lot. Um, but for indoors, I thrive the most. And what I have learned is that don't be afraid of using, like, the debug items that you see, like, like plants or cups or mugs or, like, random stuff that your sim uses on a daily basis, like their homework random books you see them reading um like for example if you had like a sim who really loved reading you would decorate their room with a bunch of books laying around on their desk or on the floor or have like several bookcases aligned along the wall um or if you like had like a very messy sim you would have clothes on the floor under the bed you would have like this very weird accent wall of like graffiti or whatever it might be it's like if your Sims have a, has a very specific t type of personality that they gravitate towards, decorating their bedroom is like the first step because that's where the personality really does shine. And then you can gradually start decorating the house throughout, like in the hallway and in the kitchen. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about workout stuff. <laughs> Sadly, my Sims don't work out, so I never add it in. Mm, generation 20 is amazing uh do you have any angle number so what the what i plan on finishing career legacy i think we have like four generations left i'm pretty sure four or five no it might be four gens left of said family and i don't really technically know what i'll do after the fact once we're done but I do want to continue the family as long as I can. Undiscovered preschool, ma mansion dying, sinking apart. Oh? Where can I put this? I feel like taking this away. I want to give them a proper place. Hmm. I could do this upstairs. It's a possibility that I literally just might add another door right here. Yeah. <laughs> do you have better build and buy? I do. I have both. I have better build and buy and tool mod. Not a not a bit big expert on tool mod. I use the very bare basics of that mod because it's a very advanced mod for me. Um, so I use it to it as to its advantage. Um, by like moving things, shrinking things, very minimal stuff. 
but I will use a lot of Better Build and Buy to favorite some of my objects that I like. So that way I don't have to search like a needle in a haystack to find like a favorite plant or a bed. I do. I know all good, all good, Seven. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you hopefully next time for another stream. Um, but enjoy the rest of your day. Um, one thing you wish we had for high school years was a real football basketball game. Oh, that would be fun. I like, I wouldn't mind personally. Like, I would love to see, because I know Sims 4 is all rabbit hole, which I'm like okay with. But I think it would have been really fun to see that. Because I know with Discovery University, you have soccer games and you can go to them. Um, so if we had like football games and basketball games that we could go to rabbit hole and get notifications and moodlets, that would be nice. I would like that. And I think I might use the new treadmill and the new thingamajigger <laughs> from Lovestruck. But that would be really cool though. Or the ping pong table with the randomly generated odds of win or loses. Oh, that would be nice. An overall like hobbies pack is something that I've always wanted. Because I I'm what you call a bit of an OG. That is huge. A bit of an OG when it comes to Sims. I played Sims 2 my entire life. I've been an OG Sims 2 player since the very beginning. Started with The Sims 1. But The Sims 2 had everything that I needed and wanted. And so I've always wanted to have it back in The Sims 4. But I guess like in a better way where it's more functional. More things to do. Because Sims 2 was very limiting back then. But I found that I just want more activities. Free time was the iconic pack for me to like dive into cooking more. And the fixer up her car was really fun. Um, just anything and everything that made the summer seasons and winter seasons more cool. Cap Elastic City of Normal Things, Friendsville. You play for a bake sale event where you can have the parent sims teach children or teen sims cooking skills. Oh, that would be really cool. And we kind of have it in a way because you can do cooking together with your sims. So... But an actual baking event, oh ho ho, bake sale. And then you have that one parent send, well, that one parent says, was this from like Trader Joe? Did you buy this from store bought? Like, no, 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 I, I, um, I cooked it in my kitchen. So why is there a label on here for $4.99 at Deerberg's? <laughs> you just have that one parent just doing the uttermost. Why? <laughs> Uh, has any generation of this legacy been your favorite? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, mm, I will say Generation 3, which was when we played Not So Berry, that was Gen 3, the yellow generation. That was pretty fun because I lived in Brendelin Bay and it was interesting because I, I never really played as an astronaut all the way through to see what would happen. Um, but I also really enjoyed enjoyed playing through yellow gen gray generation so three and four and then i think it was gen gen 10 we lived in sulani for a hot two seconds with all those cats and then generation 15 we've had a lot but those are like some of the favorites that i come like i can think at the top of my head that i really enjoyed you're making a huge 100 baby house good luck my friend on that may the odds forever be in your favor you were just about saying that you were just saying that today <laughs> great mind sync alike daphne okay i think oh i need lights and i also need a fence up here because there's no way my sims are going to survive that Uh, you cackle so hard when you said, uh, when you saw the for rent wickered whims basket. Back, back then, I was like, did the Sims team ever play with mods? They did. But like, what kind of mods? 
If you had to remove any expansion pack from existence, what would it be? Expansion pack? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh, that's a tough one. I would probably would say Island Living, because I don't play with that pack a lot. I don't really play with a lot of mermaids, which is the next person. But it's like, out of all of them, it'd probably just be Island Living, because I really like the expansion packs a lot. But if I had to choose the one I played the least was Island Living, because I haven't played with the career. I don't play with mermaids that often. Um, but luckily with this challenge, I'll be able to play through um the career and play with mermaids at the same time because all the other ones are really cool i like the solar panels and how much it benefits for um my sims bills with eco lifestyle i like get together because of the club system i love get to work because they're interactive careers and the retail part even though the retail is meh i still like it because we have it and then even though the careers are repetitive, let's get to work. I still like that we can go to work with our Sims. This is so tough. Because they're all so good in their own individual ways, but I'm that happy medium. Oh, aging awning your game for the first time because you get so attached. Ooh, my recommendation is playing in a challenge setting. Because I am just like you. I have aging on always because that's just the way I am. But... For me, the way I've learned to enjoy gameplay with Agent Owen is playing through a challenge. Challenges are my favorite way to dive deep into gameplay more. And also as a family game player, I've learned a lot on how my Sims act day by day. I take a lot of photos. I like to go to different places with them. Each generation, I'll have them live in a different world or live in a different apartment or townhouse or regular house or move back with their family. Um, but yeah, challenges like career legacy is where each generation's a different career and aspiration. I think that's something that you could definitely try and do um, to get back into gameplay. Yeah, but the thing is though with seasons, I feel like Seasons has always been base game since the very beginning. Even though Sims 1 didn't have base game, Sims 2 and 3 were their own expansion. But when you also think about it, the way I see it, what the Sims 3 was, I don't think it could handle all of that in base game in the very beginning because the Sims 3 is still playable but unplayable at the same time. Um, I just think... I don't know. I... I I can see where you're coming from where you want ba seasons in base game. But it's like, I don't know. Because then we would, have, we would have like less stuff if we had like a season expansion pack, you know? I don't know. Unfortunately, seasons is base game would have been base game cost. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. That's the other thing that we also think about. If we had all the seasons in base game, it probably would have not been free. And also base game would have been a lot more expensive. That's the other thing too. Oh, you recall teaching your teens to drive in The Sims 3? I really did like that a lot. Something that I did all the time in The Sims 3. If you had generations, the driving came with generations. Um... What I love the most about it is that you could take videos of your Sims and then display it on the TV. And I would do it every single time. Every single time my Sims were out and about, had a birthday party, got married, graduated, driving, I would take a video of everything. And then slap that right on the TV when they get married saying, this is what you looked like when you were a child. This is what you did. Ruined my house and everything. And now... You suffer the consequences of your actions. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Seasons doesn't have a world. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like Seasons with its base, with uh, it being its own pack. It's a lot easier. Because then, you, like, when you think about it, there's, like, you get more stuff in an expansion. I don't know. I would like for the dev team to do, like, their dev diaries that they did back in the day. Um, but it was like mostly during like the Sims 3 days. 
I want a keg. Um, during like the Sims with Evil and I think a little bit of the Sims 3. I thought that was a really cool thing that they did. So I would love for them to bring that back one day. There we go. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. This is going to change eventually over time. But for now, this is what it is. Upstairs will be changed eventually once we have the kids and everything else in between. This will be a bedroom. This will be a bedroom. I think I got everything that I needed and wanted for this house. I'm pretty sure. I got the trash chute. I got the mailbox. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what I would want as a world? I would love to have another base game world that's just like Newcrest. Oh, you love the party mechanics uh, in this in 3 2? Mm hmm. And Sarah, welcome in. Uh, but since he says it doesn't have a world, but it alters every world you have, that is also very true. Exactly. It doesn't have a world, but it alters every world that you have. So I think that's also the other way why we don't why we don't have all four seasons in base game in the very beginning because it alters every world. If seasons came with the world and seasons was only in that world, it'd be like the other worlds would be like, eh, why? So when you impact the weather and seasons in all worlds, it makes more sense for it being an expansion. I think something that they could have added personally for me is that I would love for them to have added in like those festivals. I did like those seasonal festivals that we had. Um, I really enjoyed them a lot. Oh, I want this. Because each season you have something different. And then we have the calendar system. So in a way we could just make whatever we want per season. But I wanted that festival. You know. And also Cancer Ian welcome in. It's good seeing you today. How are you? Welcome Ian. Um, oh, the buffet table. Oh, those were my favorite things to like always add to a party. I don't know if you did the those teen parties when your Sims adults had that free vacation. And so they would leave and then the teens could do whatever they wanted. I always added like that bubble blower machine. I always added in like a foosball table. I added in random stuff into my Sims households because I wanted to make a ruckus and see what could possibly happen for um, the next several hours after the parents come home. Okay. I'll put this here because we'll bring our our pet with us. And then, yeah, for now, we'll just leave it the way it is. But I think it looks really nice. I like this house. I haven't really built in this new world in a very long time since we got it. So I'm pretty proud. But welcome in. We're just currently, we're playing up The Sims 4 today as we usually do. But we're finishing up the final touches of Generation 20's house, house apartment, penthouse thing in a Suda Emirata. And then we're going to go back to Partosa to go ahead and um, age up Gen 20 and then give them a lovely makeover and then send them to university. So we might be able to do some gameplay today, actually. I'm going to leave it just like that because I like it. Oh, that would be fun. We make our own worlds. That would be interesting. Imagine. Mine would be jacked up and crazy, but then that's what I want. <gasps> Ooh. See, now I'm not even done. See, this is a problem that I need to solve for myself. Don't go into debug. It's a dangerous place over here. It's a dangerous place. There we go. Debug is scary. Uh, but that would be fun. Having to make our own worlds. And then also being able to just do whatever. Like The Sims 3 days and The Sims 2 days. If you had 7 kids in The Sims 3 and I grounded them all when your husband came home. Ooh. The mess that would... That's messy. My max is only at the most... I think four or five kids, whatever the aspiration is, raise your kids from babies to teenagers and like it's like five. That's my max. That is it. No more. 
Unless I do want more of them, like, very rarely. I've grounded so many of my Sim children, it's, it's crazy on how many of them snuck out of the house immediately the next day and, and not on a school day. It was a little bit crazy, but I did it because why not? <laughs> Imagine if you can make your own festivals. Oh, that would be cool. In a way, we technically can make our own festivals with the calendar system in The Sims 4. Where is it at? Uh, we would just have to, like, make the objects and, like, place them down. So, in a way, we can. But, like, in a way, like, not like The Sims 3. Does that make sense? Maybe. Maybe. We might have seasons in base game in the next iteration of The Sims. But that's, like, a huge, huge maybe. Everything's literally up in the air with, like, Sims and the gaming industry, so everything's like, I don't know. What else do I need? I need an easel. Mm, only get famous and going to get this bigger. True. True. Yeah, two sets of twins and one surprise would be- Ooh, they said surprise! I'm here! <laughs> Welcome to the fam! It's like, uh-huh. Where are you sleeping, surprise child? That's the question you gotta ask these kids in The Sims. So where's your bedroom? It's like, oh, I thought I'd just sleep in this bed. Like, no, that's my bed. Where's your bed? Oh, I don't know. Find me one. Like, uh, with what money? Oh, I don't know. With yours? No. With your money. Hello? Oh, three sets of... Oh, that's scary. Two sets, three sets of... Mm-mm. Too many. Too scary. Um, oh, a challenge where you can make a custom, custom concept world and EA would pick one. That would be very, very cool. That would be very, very cool to see. Oh, it's like what they do with the other simmers. That's too big. If they like, they work with other simmers on packs. That would be really cool. Concept world. And then like what you want to have in it, that would be really interesting to see. I'd be down for that. I would love to build for a pack or at least create my own pack. If I could have my, an opportunity to create a kit or a stuff pack, I'd be all for it. It mostly would just be generally all about elders and more activities for kids in a sense, because that's where my heart lies right now and they don't have much in the game so that's where i'm standing emerald welcome in how are you you are not late you are arriving early whenever you can you arrive when you can but welcome in we're putting on the final touches of our build right now for set generation 20 of career legacy I thought we add some trees because I realize there is nothing in this house on the outside. When in doubt, add trees. Trees make the world go round. Sometimes. Depends on who you're asking. Mm-hmm. But no, I feel like, like, what's the most sim children you've had in one generation? The most I've had is, like, 10 and that's too many and that's too many babies i like to spread them out amongst different age groups most of them i like to adopt a lot of babies in the sims just because i think it's kind of cool i've one time when we got growing together i did like this foster care build and it was really fun because i wanted to be able to to like understand but also at the same time, recreate my favorite TV show of all time, The Fosters. I love that TV show, by the way. I don't know why I just said the second time. I think I might rewatch that show again because it's a highlight of my life. And it just has a good storyline, you know? Like, do you ever, like, try to recreate your own favorite TV shows, but in The Sims? I don't think I need to add anything else. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need anything else. 
12? That's a lot of babies. That sounds like my BitLife playthrough, except I in BitLife, I have like 15, 20 at once. <laughs> 15 or 20 at, at once, but you know, that's just me. What am I looking at on my phone? Okay, that's not normal. Also, Tater Tot, welcome in. It's good seeing you today. How are you? I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to the gallery because I can't think of anything else. Why is that the most awful angle of all entirety? Oh my gosh. Why? Why, why, why? Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. <laughs> well, first, well, I'm gonna save my game and then flip it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really glad you like this build. I'm going to be uploading it to to the gallery. And also, I'm going to be posting it as a YouTube video as well. So that is something I'm probably going to be editing tomorrow during our co-working stream that we have in at 10 a.m. Central. Alongside some other past videos I've been wanting to finish editing. A hundred. Oh, yeah, you know, a hundred in one generation. That's natural, Daphne. That's easy. Child's play. It's not like you did the 100 baby challenge or anything. No. <laughs> okay, so this has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Oh, you tried to create a playthrough of an old Disney Channel characters and families? It didn't go well? Well, you know, you could try again if you wanted to. That's an option. I try to do that with the Proud family. That did not end well either for me. Um, and I'm glad you're doing all right. Definitely happy just to chill on the couch and watch streams after work. Oh, that's good. That's a good thing to do. Relaxing after a long day is very important. Good, good, good. Also, I'm going to do this real quick. Hold on for one second. I'm going to do that. Uh, do that. There we go. <sighs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's been long. Unit one. Oh, wait, that's right. You can make these residential rental lots. I forgot about that. I'm going to type this as mm, orange penthouse. I don't know. I built this. A lawyer mm, living in the I was like, how do you spell these words I'm trying to spell? I didn't really tell you what I'm trying to spell. Okay, there we go. Mm, oh, you tried it when you first got The Sims since I didn't know what else to do. So I think it would work better now. Yeah, I think it would. I think... Also, the other one that I wanted to really recreate was Vampire Diaries and Van Helsing. Because, like, I'm just, I was literally waiting for, like, those specific packs. Like, give me those vampires, give me those werewolves, and then we're good. And now we can recreate the Vampire Diaries Twilight fandom in The Sims as many times as we want. Except we don't got hybrids. But we can pretend that we have hybrids. Also, Theo, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good seeing you. Okay, so the house is done. We just uploaded uh, the house, penthouse area for Generation 20 of the Career Legacy Challenge. So we've got a lot of things on our hands. Uh, oop, that's not what I wanted to type. Hmm... Okay, there we go. Garrett, I hope you enjoy your gifted sub from Sarah. Thank you, thank you so much, Sarah, for that gifted sub to Garrett. Can we get some hype in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new gifted sub. Oh, you got to see your girlfriend for the last time before you move tomorrow? Oh, I bet it was definitely sentimental and very happy moments you spent together for the last time before you move. Um. That's really cool. I hope the move goes really well and goes smooth. 
Um, but I'm glad you're doing okay. I've been well. I have been 